What's up YouTube, SK Gaming here, bringing you something very, very special to the channel. We actually have, I repeat, we have a battle with Nips himself. The man who was a big influence on getting me into YouTube and uh, Poketube and everything. And I, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm so grateful to him for letting me battle him. I actually got to do it on his stream. Um, I was not able to live record it just because, um... I was really rushed getting ready to uh, get ready to do the battle and everything. I actually just kind of jumped in the stream and was like, oh, I'll enter the raffle. I didn't expect to win, but I actually ended up winning the raffle, and I was the first battle of his stream today. Um, and so, yeah, guys, uh, we're going to jump right into this video here. Uh, you can go look at the teams. Um, basically, uh, this team is just centered around Mega Sozor. I actually did not play this game too well. I actually uh, you know, made some, some pretty big mistakes, but we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And uh, I will be providing uh, live commentary, not live commentary, but commentary afterwards. And uh, so he's going to go ahead and he is issuing the challenge. He leads off with Hippowdon. Um, I was kind of nervous about this just because um, I did lead Crocodile and there wasn't much I could do to it. And I, I, I feared the superpower. I wasn't sure if he got superpower, but I was like, I really just don't want that to happen. Um, I knew we couldn't live more than one or two Earthquake just because Hippowdon does have such power. Uh, so I switched out into Suicune just to take up some, hit, um, some hits because I knew we could live multiple Earthquakes. Um, I actually do not have a Stealth Rock Setter and he actually uh, ends up setting up the rocks here, which is fine with me. Um, this is actually a bulky Suicune, but also offensive at the same time. He actually has max special defense, max uh, special attack. Um, he does run toxic, but we do not run protect or uh, rest. So it's 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 a stally Suicune kind of, but it also can dish out some damage. So he actually is gonna whirlwind here after we land the toxic, which is good. They'll put a timer on this Apaldon because Apaldon is such a threat, and he's gonna whirlwind us out into Scizor, which kind of sucks because I was like, I'm not sure if we can live two EQs, um, and I do kind of want to set up with uh, Mega Scizor and just kind of sweep. So I was like, uh, I'll switch out into. Um, uh, Haxorus, I do believe is who I switch out into because I was like Haxorus can live uh, some EQs We can set up a, a couple D dances and uh, just go ahead and proceed to potentially sweep for the entire game But um, we get our Haxorus out here. We're breaking the mold. We're breaking tons of molds breaking all the molds And he's gonna whirlwind us again, which sucks. I was like, oh man And I was like, all right, that's fine Maybe we'll get out in a Suicune or something or but he actually switches us back into our Scizor Which was really unfortunate because like I said, we're at even lower health now And I was like, I, I, I don't think I can live two EQs, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna stay in now. Like, there's nothing I can do about it now. It's it. We're, we're in here. You know, there's not much we can do. So I'm going to actually uh, mega evolve, and uh, I'm gonna set up a swords dance because I knew he was gonna switch out because I figured uh, he doesn't want to deal with a mega scissor. Um, so I, I go ahead and mega evolve here, and this clouded, uh, this Azelf just wrecked my world. Um, I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. He switched out, which means we get a free swords dance, which means we're good. We're good. And I do have bullet punch on this scissor, and I said. I don't know if Bullet Punch will take out this Azelf. Um, looking back, it probably would have, but um, at the time, I didn't think it would, but I thought an X-Scissor would, so I went for X-Scissor, thinking we could out outspeed, but we do not, and we do not live that Flamethrower. Um, I really thought we were going to outspeed there. Uh, that was a big mistake on my part. Scissor going down that early was a huge mistake, but... Um, we're brushing it off, you know, at the time I was like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're going to Gengar, Gengar will be able to Shadow Ball, you know, we'll definitely outspeed this Azelf, you know, Azelf really isn't that fast. Gengar, we're modest, but we're still fast, but he actually outspeeds us, and he takes us out with a Psy Shock here, and this is when I was like, oh man, this is going to be a climb coming back up, you know, I mean, we're, 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 two, we're down two Mons already, early game, haven't taken out any of his Mons, haven't really dealt any real damage to any of his Mons yet, I don't think we, at this point we had attacked yet, other than Toxic, and, um, you know, as, so I was like, all right, Talonflame, you're going to have to come in here. You're going to have to sweep up this uh, this mistake that is just happening right now. So we go to uh, Brave Bird with Talonflame, and that is obviously going to pick up the knockout on Azelf because Azelf's defenses are not the best. And a Brave Bird, Talonflame uh, with a life orb, full max or max attack, um, adamant. You know, that's nothing's loving that. But um, he's going to send out Frizzle here, which is his Electivire. And I was like, okay, well, Brave Bird's not going to do anything because he's resist... Uh, because uh, Electivire resists it. So I got to go for the Flare Blitz. Thinking I was going to outspeed, but he actually outspeeds us with the Ice Punch, which is unfortunate. But, um, you know, I couldn't have switched out there because he would have dropped instantly to the rocks. So I just switched back out into Instigator, thinking, okay, I can get off an EQ here. Instigator is Scarfed uh, Moxie. So I was like, okay, I can start, you know, really start 
put in some damage, maybe get a Moxie boost with a kill or something. He switches back into the um, Hippowdon, the Dawn, sets up the Sandstorm again, which is fine with me. We are ground types, so that's fine. But um, I go for an Earthquake here, and I was like, this isn't going to do anything. He's probably bold, max defense, but it ends up doing a decent amount of damage, actually. It is a crit, but I was like, that's fine. We can probably take him out with one more hit, especially with the Toxic damage coupled in there. Um... Because we get two turns of Toxic on top of another Earthquake. Um, so I was like, okay, well, maybe we can take him out with this hit. So we go for another Earthquake. Uh, like I said, we are Choice Scarf locked in there, so I didn't have an option to switch the move, but I could have switched out. But we actually do not pick up the kill with that Earthquake, which is unfortunate. And we're going to take a decent amount of damage from this Earthquake from this Hippowdon. I told you guys, Hippowdon is a threat. But, um... With the leftovers recover and the toxic damage, he's going to be just barely living. I looked on the screen and he was living on 4 HP, and I was like, are you serious? But um, we do pick up the Naga with another EQ here, which is, you know, it's it's... It sucks that we weren't able to take him out last turn, not take that EQ damage, but whatever. We're going to get the Moxie boost here, which is good, but uh, he's actually going to switch out into Mamoswine. And I thought here, I was like, I could go for an EQ and knock him out for sure, but I was 99% sure that Ice Shards into his priority. If he was Choice Scarfed, he would win the speed tie, and the, or the priority would take over. So I was like, I cannot take an Ice Shard. So I switched out to Sweet King because I know Scald is going to be a one-hit kill. That's fine. Um, he's going to go for the Earthquake here, I do believe. Uh, Ice Shard here, actually. So I do believe that that would have uh, taken out Crocodile. I do believe that with a priority, if he was Choice Scarfed, um, which I found out later he was not Choice Scarfed, but at the time I was thinking he was Choice Scarfed. We do see there the Life Orb. Um, I was thinking he was Choice Scarfed, and I was like, there's no way we can outspeed him. We're going to lose Crocodile, and I cannot lose Crocodile right now. So we go for the Scald, and we do almost pick up the Knockout. Uh, he's going to go for Earthquake here, and we're going to eat that up. Yeah, we're going to eat that up. Nom, 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 nom. And he's almost going to drop to life, life, oil, or life Orb Recoil. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. We're going to go for... He's going to go for another Ice Shard. And we're actually going to live this. We're going to live it on like 1 HP. Literally 1 HP. And uh, he's going to drop to the Life Orb Recoil there. I actually could have... Um, you know, uh, subbed up there. Actually, I could not have subbed up there. What am I talking about? Oh my gosh. Think, Spencer. Think. <laughs> So, uh, we, c we could have gone for uh, something else there, Call Mind or something, but I was just like, you know, we're on 1 HP, it's fine. He's going to outspeed us anyway. So, he goes for an Ice Punch and uh, takes out a Suicune, which is unfortunate, but um, I do think this is a Choice Banded um, Electivire. So, he is locked into Ice Punch, and this is at the point of the game when I was like, man, we're losing Crocodile on this hit. Um, you know, there's no way li we're living a Choice Banded Ice Punch from an Electivire. Electivire's attack set is through the roof. And, um, I was like, Haxorus isn't gonna live this either. You know, like, he he's, he's, he's got some defense, but he's still frail. And it's, uh, super effective. So I switch in the Haxorus, and I was like, should I go for the D-Dance? Maybe living. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna click Earthquake. This battle, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Um, but this battle's, this battle's pretty much lost. We do live the Ice Punch, though, on 17 HP, and we go for the Earthquake, and that manages to pick up the Knockout on this Electivire. And I was like, okay, but, you know, he's just going to switch into Infernape, and Infernape outspeeds us. So, at this point, I knew the, the game was over, but I actually clicked, uh, Dragon, or Dragon Claw here, Dragon Punch, Dragon Claw. Um, living on 2 HP after that Life Orb Recoil, Life Orb Axorus, Axorus for Ubers. Um, he's gonna go for the Flare Blitz, Flare Blitz, oh my gosh, I cannot speak today. He's gonna go for the Flare Blitz, Flare Blitz here, and, uh, pick up the Knockout, which is unfortunate, but it was a great battle, and I just had a, an amazing time battling Nips, guys. Um, I'm gonna leave his YouTube in the description down below, but you guys pro probably already know him, uh, he is pretty big on YouTube, but I'm gonna leave his description down in the, um, or I'm sorry, his link down in the description below, just because he is a great guy. Um, definitely check out his YouTube, and, uh, you know, I, I really appreciate you guys checking out the video, and encourage you guys to check out the channel if you haven't already. But I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I'll see you all next time.